JAXRPC is an acronym for Java API for XML based remote procedure call. And believe me, when you're writing web services, you can use all the help you can get. One thing JAXRPC does for you is completely handle the setup of the SOAP interface. I'll be showing you how it does that in the next couple of lessons. JAX RPC development software comes as part of the J2EE 1.4 SDK download. On the Sun website, you'll see where you can download the developer's pack for JAX RPC, but if you have J2EE 1.4 already installed, you already have everything you need. The whole thing works in a way similar to Beans. A web service is method based, so basically you have a client process to call the remote methods. The client makes a local call to a method of a stub, just as if it were a remote method being called. It's this stub that does the communications. The stub creates the message that holds the full identification of the service, the method to be called, starting over, the stub creates the message that holds the full identification of the service, the method to be called, and the arguments, if any, that are to be passed to the method. The packaged method call is sent to the skeleton. In the world of web services, the skeleton is often called the tie because it's used to tie the client to the web service, but the traditional RPC term is skeleton. The stub uses the values sent to it to make the call to a method of the service. The return value from that method is sent back to the skeleton. The skeleton, or the tie, then packages the return value as an SOAP message and returns it to the stub. The stub then converts the returned data into the form expected by the local caller and uses it as the returned argument to the client. The service may have a number of methods that are called in this same way. These methods are usually associated in some way that can make them part of the same service. For example, one method could be a lookup method that finds things and returns one or more IDs of them, and another method could accept an ID to return information about the item. There are as many different ways of doing this as there are ideas for web services. There is a lot to do to build a web service and to build a client that can use it. I'll show you what I mean starting in the next movie. My reason for bringing this up is that if you are going to develop your own service, you probably want to look for a tool that will do much of the work for you. As you'll see, there are tools supplied with J2EE that do a lot of the work, but there's still a lot left to be done by hand, and there are tools that will do that.